One example of exponential growth comes from a legend. The king of Persia offered the inventor of the game of chess anything he wanted as a reward. The reward requested was one grain of wheat for the first square on a chessboard, two grains for the second, four for the third, eight, sixteen, and so on, doubling for each square. The king agreed, thinking it a modest request that would cost him little. But the amount of grain for the last square alone would have filled a train of boxcars wrapped around the earth at the equator 25 times. The king simply didn't understand exponential growth and would have had to give away his entire kingdom. The reason we are so easily deceived and subsequently astonished by exponential growth is because at first the increases seem very small and sustainable. After all, quantities can double hundreds, maybe thousands of times before they become significant. However, at a certain point, it takes only a few more doublings for the numbers to become very significant. Clearly, anyone telling you that our growth in material consumption or population can be sustained is, like the king of Persia, unfamiliar with the nature of exponential growth. The truth is that exponential growth in production and population over the last several generations has fundamentally changed our relationship with the Earth. For thousands of years, humans were a tiny presence on vast continents thriving with other forms of life. Slowly, more and more people learned more and more ways to change and influence the world around them. With improving health care and mechanization, both our population and technical strength have grown ever more rapidly. For the last 30 years, single decades have seen more growth and more consumption than have previous centuries and even millennia. Today, we influence practically everything on Earth, even the life processes on which we depend. <laughs> 